How you doing, ladies and gentlemen? This is William. Um, this is October the 3rd, 2022. Um, I just want to read y'all something real quick that come across my news break. So let's go into it real quick. A North Carolina sheriff resigned after he was caught on tape saying he was going to fire his black officer. It's just time to clean them out. <laughs> wow. If many of y'all got news break, go look at that. A North Carolina sheriff resigns. They let him resign instead of firing him. They let him resign. They, see, when it's white people, they let him resign. When it's black people, they fire him. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I, I hate to really say that, but let's let's speak. Up. I'm gonna speak the truth here, and I want y'all to receive the truth. When it's white people, they make so uh, they make a rule to let them resign to keep them put getting them in trouble. But when it's black people, huh? Tell me how many black people y'all know resign of office, <laughs> get fired. <laughs> I mean, that's the reality of it. I'm talking about the reality. Just like with our sheriff from Richmond County, Mark Gulledge. And his running mate, or not his running mate, but his um, second-in-command children. You know, come on. They prejudiced, straight up prejudice. You know, every time I go around here, I, I got an officer, a sheriff, deputy approaching me out in public, and public areas, you know, they're trying to serve me some civil papers, so they want to contact me somewhere. They, anyway they see me, they want to try to come up. They want to not try to. They come up to me. Oh, well, we got these papers. No, you ain't got nothing for me. You ain't at my ass. You don't be coming up to me in public trying to do nothing, uh, uh, trying to serve me anything. You know what I'm saying? So that's just the prejudice coming from the top. That ain't that ain't the offer of himself being prejudiced. That's the prejudice from the top. Gullich. That's the prejudice from the top. So he just like that, the one I just read y'all about. Well, Sheriff resigned. He need to go ahead and resign. You know, because they always make a way for a white person in office to resign, to keep from getting in trouble rather than firing it. But they're like they did Holly Smith, the magistrate, allow her to resign her job rather than getting fired for the unlawful things she done. So, you know, I want I, you know what I want to do. I want us to break history here. I want us to, to get these prejudice jokers out of office that don't serve the, 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 the citizens of the county that they serving. You know, a sheriff ought to protect and serve and prosecute the, the, um, the, the people that violate the law, then do that. You know, don't prosecute the innocent, you know, the citizen of the county that you stay in. And see, that's the thing with God. And I know it's coming from the top because I know, believe me, I know, you know, I told y'all when he made off, which I knew he was gonna make off because he was he won't he I don't think in my opinion he won't vote it there. He would the place there. That's right. He would place in that office. Cause how many sheriff let me ask y'all something. Y'all remember when Clemens went? And I everybody in that sheriff department went against Clemens and ran ran for sheriff against them. And the same sheriff department. Now tell me how many ran and, and Clemens black. Tell me how many ran against that dog on Gulich in the same sheriff department. Did Sesame and all them get up and run against them? None of them. Did none of them run against them. But a black man in there running for sheriff, they had everybody in that sheriff department running against Clemens. And now um, Gulich up there, Mark Gulich up there, didn't nobody run against him in that sheriff department, did they? <laughs> exactly. That's my part that I'm talking about. But I just want to go ahead and put that out here. Gulich is racist, you know. Even though he hired a few black people in that sheriff's office, but he chose his running mate to be white. Now, Clemens chose him. Clemens was a black sheriff and chose a white um, chose a white second in command, which was Gulledge. Then Gulledge, as soon as he became sheriff, chose children to be his second in command, which is a straight racist. Straight racist. So it wasn't good. Ain't no black officers up there good enough to be to be his second um, officer in, in command. You know, ain't nobody up there good enough for him. To, no black person up there good enough for him to put second in command. But he want to choose a white officer, been in that sheriff department, God knows how long, to be his second running mate. See, that was a plan, y'all. That was a plan. Prejudice, racist. Y'all better catch up with what's going on around here. And black people around here keeping these people in office. And, and you know, I don't we just gotta wake up to it, y'all. We gotta wake up to it and stop the nonsense and get these prejudiced 
people out of office, from that courthouse to the judges to the, you know, clerk of courts to um, district attorney. I'm talking about all the, especially the elected officials. You got to get them out of there. Because they're going to keep hurting us black people the way they want to. And they use other black people to hurt us. Other black people that's in office, they use them to hurt their own people. And they fool enough to go. And the black people that's in office is fool enough to go for it. So, yeah. And we need to get rid of God as quickly, quickly, and as soon as possible. He need to resign now. Resign and need to get out his, that off his racist self. You know what I'm saying? A lot of them clerks up there need to get out from up there. You know, racist. Straight racist. Everything that happened to a white person, they give them an opportunity to get out of it before they come down with charges. Black person, they throw them charges on you. Y'all know it. I'm just telling you the truth, and I want y'all to receive the truth. Thank you for listening.